Hi everyone, my name is Abel Greek and Toma from Greatest Design Consult. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or you call me on any of these numbers, okay? Uh, today I'm going to be showing a very great package that has actually transformed my life um, while I was starting my journey in uh, design. Uh, this is RCC spreadsheet. It's actually a very great package. Uh, it's more it's one of the packages that is very very close to the manual design actually so it's actually a very good package that you can I will always want to recommend for beginners either you start with the RCD 2000 or you can start with the RCC spreadsheet um, so I'm gonna be taking you through this entire spreadsheet I will be taking you through the slab uh, the beam the column and then the footing as well okay so i'll be taking you through the entire process so uh but the first thing you are actually going to need is the uh drawing you are actually going to be needing an architectural drawing and then you will have to do what we call the general arrangement which is the structural layout which tells you the uh the story of where the column should be positioned where the beams should be positioned uh the depth of the beam the size of the column and all of that you as the engineer it is your responsibility to do all of this arrangement and in your head you already have an idea of how you want the sizes to look like and then it must suit or fits whatever the architectural uh the architect is giving you okay um so uh, I'll be showing you from here if I come to my AutoCAD here I have my structural layout which is the general arrangement already uh, so I'm gonna be using this so based on what I did this is my floor beam one this is my floor beam uh, two this is three this is four this is five this is six seven and then eight uh, mind you, you must um, know that uh, structural layout um, of two different engineers can never be the same because um, we have we cannot think alike. It's not possible for us to think alike. Uh, or two or structural layout of three different engineers or four different engineers or five different engineers cannot be the same uh, because. Uh, the way uh, the engineer A will think is different from the way the engineer B or C or D will actually think. Okay, so but um, the all of this general arrangement could be saved. Uh, but one thing for sure is that one is going to be uh, definitely be more economical than the other, and all of this comes from your experience over time. In the construction and in also in the design okay uh, so um, but in this uh, uh, series uh, we are only going to be focusing on the design itself which uh, which is actually what the spreadsheet itself is going to help us generate is the design not the the detailing okay so what you do with the spreadsheet is to get the design mind you the design of an engineer is actually the the calculations not not the drawings actually okay so the drawings only help to tell the story of the 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 design that's the calculation that has been done so it's like you representing it in a in a graphical in a drawing form okay so that's basically what um, the design of an engineer uh, is all about so um, as you can see here what we have so all I need to do now is to pick my first panel if you look at this panel um, based on what I have here it's a two-way slab so a two-way slab means when you divide the long span which is this uh, by the short span is going to give you a value uh, is going to give you a value that is actually less than two okay so uh, we can practicalize that right here and right now so if I try to measure this uh, to know what I have here this is uh, then I will use what we have I will use my calculator to check what I am having here 
so if I have the value of uh, 6 2 1 0 divided by the short span which is 3 8 3 0 is going to give us a value sorry a value that is less than 2 is actually a two-way slab a value that is greater than 2 is actually a one-way slab greater than 2 in the sense that if you have 4 meters divided by 1.5 is definitely going to be greater than 2 we can practicalize that if we say 4 divided by 1.5 is going to give us a value that is greater than 2 which makes it a one-way slab okay so this is just a simple way to know if your slab is a one-way slab or a two-way slab now if this is the slab we are designing all i need to do is to know this short span length and then the long span length then i will come to the spreadsheet here and then uh, this is my spreadsheet <laughs> and then i will type the value of my short span is uh, 3.8 okay uh, let me show be very sure of what I have here 3.83 so I will go there and type 3.83 3.83 and then the value for my long span is um, 6. Point, I think that should be 6.230 6.210 no I don't think that is correct uh, this is 6 points I will take this measurement again so mind you your general arrangement can be done uh, even on a sheet of paper but if you are good with AutoCAD it's advisable you do that using the AutoCAD software which makes it way more easier and faster for you to achieve um, 6 6.23 and that is what I will need to type in there so I will come back here and I will type 6.23 so you can see what I have here and then based on my general arrangement I specify that panel to be a 150 uh, depth of uh, thickness okay so which is what I have here if I come back here you can see this is 150 thick concrete slab okay so I will have to come back here and also specify that depth of uh, 150 which is what i have here as you can see whatever information i change here automatically it takes effects in everywhere here okay so let's say i change the value of this thickness to let's say 200 and i press enter you can see all of these informations are actually changing as well so but uh, i will take it back to I will take it back to 150 so those informations are actually going to change automatically so um this 20 means your concrete cover this top cover and the bottom cover these are the informations i need to type in then this uh, 25 and this 14 is the characteristic strength of concrete and also the characteristic strength of my steel and then this is what we have here the density means the density of your concrete is actually 24 kilo newton per meter cube but you can see this is um 23.6 okay for normal weight which is approximately 24 you can decide to leave that value as it is or you can actually change it uh, however you want so um this here the self width as you can see here is 3.6 but uh, let me see if that value can be changed but i'm going to explain where the value of 3.6 is coming from actually okay i will explain where this value is coming from i'll be showing you 
right away okay let's come here um, so um, this is actually where the 3.6 was getting from this 0 0.15 is actually the thickness of that slab the 24 is the density of the concrete so when you multiply 0 0.15 times 24 is going to give you 3.6 then the finishes uh, we say 1.2 and then the partition allowance is actually 1 kilonewton per meter square so um, I will always encourage you to get uh, the simplified reinforced concrete design by Victor Uyenuga you actually get to have a deeper insight of uh, why I am adopting all of these informations okay so you get all of these informations there or you can get mostly and bungi. Uh, these are actually two great books for reinforced concrete design okay so I will always encourage you to get all of that and then by the time you sum this value uh, 3.6 plus 1.2 will give you 4.8 plus 1 will give you 5.8 that is how we got this value and then the life load we assume a 1.5 kilonewton per meter square and then by the time you multiply by the factor of safety for your dead load 1.4 for your life load is 1.6 and this will give you 10.52 for bs8110 for the british uh for the euro code is actually different there is a slight difference in this uh, life load and then the the factor of safety rather for your life and also for your dead load okay so if that is correct uh i will come back to my spreadsheet and if all of these informations are inserted uh, correctly um, the impulse load you can see which is uh, the 1.5 the this one will always ask you for extra dead load if there is so if you add that value uh, here by the time you sum all of this it will give you a total of 9.5 here okay but um you can take your time and impute the value to suit whatever we have there because what we have here is actually a value of 10.52 because we used um we used the finishes as 1.2 and the partition as one which is going to be a total of 2.2 okay so um if you now do all of that uh math it's going to give you 10.52 so uh if i decide to change this value to 2.2 and i press enter you will discover that uh, the information i'm going to have here is actually going to suit whatever i have there okay so um it is very important you as the engineer do all of your assumptions and make sure you already have all of these things right before you begin to impute all of those informations here okay so this is basically how to come about a a two-way slab because uh, we have a spreadsheet specially for a one-way slab so this is actually for a two-way and then um once you are done with this you can see you can scroll down to see um the information you have here it says checks your ly uh, is greater than l lx greater than ly okay bar diameter uh less than less than cover which is okay singly reinforced concrete is okay minimum spacing is okay maximum spacing is okay the deflection is okay global status values design is also okay as it is like this if you everything is okay you can just print this report exactly as it is all you need to do is just to change uh, the name of the project the client's name the location of the site and that's basically all you need to do and then that can be printed you can actually just print this and you can switch here you can see based on the weight and then this is just a note but this is basically where you need to do 
all of those proper information this sheet can be printed like i said all you need to do is to connect this or you can just save the file and copy it anywhere and send to your clients all right so uh i will come back to this and come back to my spreadsheet and this time around let's come to a one-way slab and let's see how it looks like so it's going to be a little bit different from the two-way slab because for a one-way slab uh, the shorter span is actually what is um, really really considered panel 2 design this is um, a one-way slab okay so um for my one way slab the number of span is one the maximum span is uh so i will change the value here and the tech the thickness will also be changed and then um that's basically all i need to do so um let's come back to uh my drawing here and i will come to my two way my one way slab which is actually this you can see this is three thousand eight hundred and thirty uh if you divide it by one thousand seven hundred and thirty that is your ly which is the long span divided by the short span is going to give you a value that is greater than two and the moment you have a value greater than two uh that means uh it's actually a one-way slab so if I have three eight three zero divided by one seven three zero will give me a value of two point two one okay so that actually makes it greater than two and which makes it a one-way slab now if that is correct all I need to do now is to bring in all of these informations um, in a one-way slab uh, uh, design the short span is actually where we have uh, our main bars are actually going to be will spread along the direction of this short span along this lens so it's going to go along this lens for example if you have a reinforcement like this uh, auto mode if you have a reinforcement like this the reinforcement is actually going to span along this direction so the reinforcement that is spanning along the the longs uh, so all our main reinforcements will span along this direction then this what we have along here is going to be a minimal bar so if that is correct so the short span is actually what is uh, mainly considered when it comes to a one-way slab for your design so uh if i come here now um oh my there this is it here so if i come here now all i need to do is to type in the information of one point seven uh, 1.730 so I will come back to my sheet 1.73 okay and then the thickness of the slab is actually 150 and then the concrete cover I will leave it as 200 as 20 sorry and then the additional dead load I can similarly just like what we have here which is 2.2 and then uh, this value will automatically change you can see everything now has changed to 10.52 so similarly my characteristic strength of uh, steel I can bring it back to that 410 and then the characteristic strength of concrete I will make it uh, 25 uh, so I am hoping this is what I used on the other one so it has to align with each other good so by the time you type in all of these informations all you need to do is to now check you can see 
everything is okay okay but this one is showing us a red indication although it did not fail but is very critical that's basically what it means this deflection is okay no share links everything the design is also valid so um that means our design is actually very okay you can see it's showing us the bending moments diagram okay um so um this is actually a very good package to uh start with uh, as a beginner you should always start with this package it helps a whole lot as you can see all you need to do for you to design another panel is to just go back there and check from your drawings uh which other panel do you want to design for you can check uh, we have this one which is also a two-way slab then we have this one which is a one-way slab so we literally just have we just have based on the general arrangement we have one two three four panels so that is actually what we have in this design so uh if you love what you are seeing make sure that you like this video and give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever i post videos post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design okay down below the description of this video you'll find a link to this channel make sure you visit the channel and actually keep yourself busy because we have covered a very wide range of design on structures architecture mechanical electrical road designs water designs okay make sure you stay safe and stay blessed thank you